can tell I'm very excited because it has been a while since I have filmed an old haul for you guys or a haul in general. This may be called a drugstore haul because it pretty much is because I think there's only two high-end products that I got at Ulta, but I got a lot of stuff. And little side note, I feel like no one else in the world would care about this besides a YouTuber, but you know, you like to have the big nice Ulta bags like show in your thumbnail and in the video. And the girl put all of the stuff that I bought in this bag is like jam-packed with stuff. You guys are going to see, I got a lot of stuff and she put it all in this little tiny bag and I think she kind of tell that I was kind of like, she was like, oh I'm so sorry, like we're out of big bags. And I was like, it's okay. So yeah, I got it all shoved in this little tiny bag, but there is a lot of stuff in here so let's just get right on into the haul. Okay, so I got a ton of stuff from L'Oreal because when I was at Ulta, I think it was like buy one, get one 50% off for L'Oreal products or something like that. So I got a lot of stuff from L'Oreal. They had a lot of new good looking stuff. Out. So the first thing that I picked up is this Miss Manga Volumizing Mascara. I've heard a lot of really great things about this, so I decided to give it a try. I typically love drugstore mascara, so hopefully I will love this. Um, I haven't tried it yet still in the packaging, but it looks pretty good. Then I also picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. I've tried their Voluminous Mascara before and really liked it, which is why I grabbed this. Um, but I've never tried the Voluminous Butterfly. I don't know like what the difference is, but... It looked cool. Did I get this in waterproof? Oh no, it just, it's just blue. I was like, oh my god, looking at all the blue, I'm like, no, 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 waterproof does not work for me. Um, but no, yeah, I just got it in the color black is black. Then I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Black Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. I typically don't like felt tip liquid liners like this, but I was watching, I can't even remember who it was, I was watching somebody the other day on YouTube and they were like, oh my god, this is amazing, it's super, super pigmented, so I was like, okay, okay. I'll try it. Um, but yeah, I typically like hate this, so I don't really know why I bought this, to be honest with you guys. But hopefully I'll like it, because I remember in the video I was like, oh yeah, sister, I was eating it up. Like what she was selling, I was like, oh yeah, that's awesome, okay, I'll try it. And then it ends up in my bag. Then every time I go to Ulta, I have to get lashes. So I got a pair of these Ardell Double Up 206s. These are really beautiful. I've never seen them before, which is why I picked them up. Hopefully my camera will focus on them, but I thought they were really, really pretty, so. I decided to give these a try and pick them up, and then I also just got a twin pack of the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm sure you guys know what they look like. I use them all the time. I love them. They're beautiful. So I just got one of the little double packs because they were a little less expensive. And this product I actually already tried, and this is from Maybelline, not L'Oreal. Um, but this is a the Maybelline Baby Scan. I took it out of the original packaging because I tried it like two days ago. I really, really like this. That was the first time I tried it, and um, I thought that it worked really, really well. It does really fill in the pores. It's basically like a drugstore version of the Benefit Pore Professional. So, so far, I do really like this product. I think it's really good. Then I picked up the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminizer. I've heard really great things about them. They have like this big, shiny case of them, and I was like, yes. So I got this one. I got the one in golden, mainly because there's only three shades and the one is like an icy like white shade. I forget exactly what it's called, but I had heard in a lot of reviews that it was like way too white. It left like a very white cast on the skin, which I think I might be a little too tan for that. Maybe in the winter I can try that one out. And then the other one is like a rose tone and I have way too much redness in my skin to begin with. So I was like, Sista, I do not need any more redness. So I got the golden one and so far I do really like it. I have used it once and it gives a really beautiful golden glow to the skin. I like to add this into my foundation when I kind of want a more dewy look. I think it looks really, really nice. So loving this so far. Then I picked up a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one is in the color Monte Carlo. This is kind of a darker, like red toned color. And I got this because I thought that it would be really good for like the fall and, um, you know, just like fall makeup looks, stuff like that. I love matte lips and I thought this was just a beautiful fall color. It just spoke to me. So, and it was also like the only matte lipstick that they had there from NYX. So but I still think it's beautiful, so I picked this up. Then I got the L'Oreal Telescopic Precise Liquid Liner. I've tried this liquid liner before and really, really liked it. It does have a brush tip rather than felt, which is typically what I like, but I got this one in the color charcoal. I wanted like a gray liquid liner because all the liquid liners that I have are black, so I wanted to get kind of like an off black type color, so I chose the gray one. So hopefully that will work for days when I kind of just want like a lighter look on the eyes. Then one of the high-end products I picked up was Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo. You guys are probably like, you already have that. You used it in your foundation routine. Routine, but I got it in the color chestnut in my foundation routine I used camel which works really well for my skin tone but I wanted to get a little bit of a darker one and kind of do like a 
contouring highlighting type thing where I use like the lighter color in the center of my face and the darker color on the outside. That's what I've been liking to do with my foundation recently. So since I did really like the foundation, I decided to go and get another one so I could kind of have both to use and like mix together. So yeah, this one is in the color chestnut. It's just a little bit darker, but I'll link my foundation routine down below in case you guys are interested where I talk more about this product and why I like it. Then from L'Oreal, I got from their collection exclusive, the Julianne lipstick. I just thought this was really, really beautiful. It's nice, like, pinky nude color. I have another one from this collection, a lighter one. I forget which one I have, though. Um, and I really liked it. I liked the formulation of it, so I decided to give this one a try as well. Then this next product, I didn't get it all, so when I pulled it out, I was like, how did this get in here? And then I remembered, I put it in the bag because I wanted to talk to you guys about it. This is the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick that I just got. It's in the color Dragon Berry. This is a new color for them. It's a beautiful, like, purpley lilac color. I love this for the fall. I think it is so, so beautiful. So I did want to show you guys that as well while we were doing a haul. Then I picked up one of the L'Oreal, I don't know what these are called, Color Reach Eyeshadows. And I got this one in the color Skinny Jeans. It's like a blue shade. Let me see if I can get the the stuff off. So these are the eyeshadow colors that it comes with. Really pretty. I don't know. They just kind of spoke to me. Like, I don't really know now that I'm looking back with it, like why I got this. I never really use blue on the eyes, but maybe that's why, just because I don't really have any blue shadows. Um, so I just thought it was really pretty. So I decided to give it a try. This product I also already took out of the packaging because I used it in my other um, drugstore only back to school tutorial. But this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Prumper. Prumper. Plumper Brow Gel Mascara. Um, this one I got in the color light to medium. So I love that they offered a light to medium shade because a lot of times the drugstore like totally neglects the light haired girls and they only have like dark eyebrow products. And so I was really happy to see they did have a light one. So I picked it up and it is light enough as well because that's another problem. Like if they say it's light, then I put it on my like eyebrows and it looks like I naturally have black hair. Um, so this one is light. The color is awesome. I It just to me is not as good as high-end like drugstore products really lack in the brow department in my opinion I've never found a product that I really love but this one is pretty good probably the best one that I found from the drugstore so I do like it I would suggest you guys if you're looking for a drugstore brow product it's just basically like a tinted brow gel. Then I got this Pure Minerals palette I've never tried anything from them before but I saw this palette and was like this is the Love Your Selfie palette so I'll take it out and show it to you guys I just thought it was adorable so this is what it looks like and then when you go ahead and open it up it has, oh, has a little card that shows you like different things that you can do in a nice big mirror, which is nice. I like that. Sorry if I just like blinded you guys. Um, but it has uh, eight eyeshadow shades, then a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, a nice little full size lip gloss, and a mascara over here as well. So I thought that was really, really cute. Something just fell out of the lip gloss. Okay. Um, so I thought that it was really cute. I'll do like a little close up so you guys can see it. But I thought it was really, really cute. Um, and I don't know. I'm just a sucker for, oh my god, there goes something else now. Now that all the products are back in the palette and not falling out, um, I just thought it was really, really cute. So I decided to give it a try and try something from their brand since I had never tried anything from them before. And then last but not least, I got this L'Oreal Le Matte Little Full Coverage Lip Cream. This one is in the color matte for me. It's just a really pretty pinky fuchsia color. I thought it was really, really beautiful, and I don't really have a matte lipstick that is this color, so I decided to give it a try. And I love the L'Oreal Le Matte series. They make really, really great um, lip crayons from the drugstore, so I decided to give that a try as well. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Ulta. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below. It would mean so, so much to me, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.